In this video, we'll talk about what happens when you add the gas CO2 to water. For the most part, what happens is that the CO2 dissolves in the water, like in a can of soda. The CO2 dissolves in the water, usually put under high pressure to make more of it dissolve in the water, and you have that nice fizzy carbonated water when you open the bottle. When you open the can, you're reducing the pressure, and then the CO2 can escape, and you can see the bubbles as they form on the side of your glass. That's CO2 escaping from the water. Some of the CO2 will actually react with the water, and that reaction will look like this. We end up with carbon dioxide plus H2O gives us this H2CO3, and that's called carbonic acid. And it might be more accurate to describe this as an equilibrium. And we can do that by putting another arrow right here, showing that this reaction is going back and forth. Not all of the CO2 becomes H2CO3. In fact, not really very much, but enough that it's important. We should also note that this H2CO3 will dissociate or break apart and one of these H's will come off and that's what makes carbonic acid acetic. This is a big problem for the oceans as we have more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere from burning fossil fuels, more CO2 is being absorbed by the ocean. That creates more of this carbonic acid and then the pH goes down. The ocean becomes more acidic called ocean acidification. Needless to say, this making the ocean more acidic is not a good thing for marine life like corals, or as we move up the food chain, things like dolphins or killer whales. But that's what happens when we put CO2 in H2O. This is Dr. V, and thanks for watching.